West Point Family First Wednesday Worship Service is back. We're asking everyone to come out and join us as we bring the Sunday morning worship experience to First Wednesday night, starting in its new time at 6 p.m. We will praise and worship God with a renewed heart, spirit, and mind as we're coming off the end of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Now, we're encouraging you to invite your family and friends if you haven't already done so, because this is going to be a really special worship service. As usual, we'll begin the evening with baptism, followed by worship, and then we'll conclude it with communion as we remember the sacrifice that Jesus Christ gave for you and I. Also, the evening will include special musical guest, Jonathan Nelson. West Point Men, the Legacy Men's Conference is just two weeks away. Now here to tell us more about what you can expect during the conference is our Pastor of Discipleship, Pastor Tony Romanek. Tony? Well, hello my West Point family. I'm Tony Romanek, your Discipleship Pastor. I'm here to inform you that the Men's Ministry of West Point Church will attend the 2011 Legacy Men's Conference at Temple Baptist on February the 11th and February 12th. This conference will be followed up by a small group study. Men, most of us have never been intentionally discipled on how to be a godly man in our relationships, in the workplace, and in our responsibilities as church leaders. All of this will be covered and more at the conference. After you've made your commitment, you will receive your legacy armband. This armband will serve as your ticket into the conference. These armbands are available in the bookstore. You can pick it up today, immediately following service. I look forward to seeing you at the 2011 Legacy Men's Conference. West Point members, you can complete all three growth track classes tonight. So members, if you have not completed New Members 101, Essentials 102, and Discovery 103, you can come out tonight, 5 p.m., right here, and complete all three at one time. So here we are on the final days of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And God has been doing some incredible things in and around our church. He's mended broken families, he's healed broken bodies, and he's renewed minds and spirits. So we're asking you to push towards the finish line and join us right here tomorrow at 12 noon as we finish up the 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm Lori Newsom with your West Point Church News for Sunday, January the 30th.